Hey, I'm Skip McGee. And I'm John Magoo. Here on ESPN Sports Center. And here, here we have the two teams. This this first team is Team Normal. And here we have Team Rocka Fella. This is Team Rocka Fella. See, he just said it right there. And look at that kid, Shasha. Here we have the coin toss. Now I'm going to flip a coin. He's going to flip the coin. There it goes. Oh, but wait. Chiz Verd grabs the coin. He's got to see if it's authentic. And there's a bite. It is. It is authentic. It's authentic. <laughs> and, and the toss is... It's, it's heads. It's heads. And here's Team Rockefeller with the kickoff. As you will notice, the ball travels in a parabolic trajectory. If we knew the force it was kicked with and the angle it was kicked at, we could figure out how, how far and high it went and how long it was in the game. We are underway. And there's a nice catch by Matt Fowler. Yes, you can tell by the way he flaps his arms that he's in fact a bird descent. Look at them go. When this ball reaches the top of its trajectory, its vertical velocity will be equal to zero as it continues to accelerate towards the ground at 9.8 meters per second squared. Look at all that volley! As high as the ball increases, so does its gravitational potential energy. Yo, yo, look at him go. Without the force of friction, he wouldn't be able to do so. Big Rich's force just overcame Valo's momentum, changing his direction. Touchdown! Due to the law of conservation of energy, no energy was lost during that elastic collision. And Valo, with more pressure up the line, just able to toss that ball into the air. People say it's hard work being a quarterback, and it is, because every time he throws the ball, he's exerting a force in the same direction as the motion of the ball. So he's doing work. Oh, and what a catch by Birdie! And he's skipping the line right into the end zone. Go, Birdie! Go! Go, Birdie! Go! The ball appears to be stuck in a new direction. Oh, no, wait. He's just kidding. <laughs> Holy crap. What a hurt girl. I not foresee this thing happening to you. In catching that ball, he lessened the force of it by increasing the time of the impulse. Oh, and what a hit. Amazing. What a hard hit. Another hard play by Nino Dickinson. I'm pretty sure this is illegal, sir. Hey, doesn't this apply to Newton's third law with the ground and the people? Action, reaction, ha <laughs> These two hit him low, and since his center of gravity is high, that means he falls over hard, and his momentum is transferred right into the ground. Here's another great shot of that crushing blow. In a perfect world, that energy would be lost, but due to friction, some energy is lost. Friction is a graveyard of energy. You see Chris doing work as he's running across that field, and since he's doing that work in a certain period of time, that's him using power. And he's still going! He's still going! He's, he's... Touchdown! Good game, guys! Game's over.